Hello, I'm Paula Denielli from Crochet Hooks You and today I'll show you how to make this basic crochet beanie for beginners and it's in an adult size. There are two sizes that you can choose from. The materials that you'll require are one ball or one skein of a medium worsted weight yarn in the category 4. Now the one I'm using is Red Heart with Love in the colour of lilac. But if you don't have this, then as long as you have this category 4 medium worsted weight yarn, then you can use that. Now with that you'll need a 6.5mm hook. You'll need some craft scissors and a yarn needle with an eye that is big enough to fit your yarn through. To get started we'll be using the lilac yarn. So leave a good amount of tail because you'll be needing that later on. Now just make a slip knot and then with your 6.5 millimeter hook just pop that through there and now we're going to chain five we'll make five chain stitches one two three four then we're going to pop our hook into this first chain stitch here under both of those top loops and we'll be making a slip stitch to form a ring. So there's our ring there. Now for round one, we'll start off with a chain two, one, two, and this chain two counts as one double crochet stitch, and any chain two that you make during this pattern will count as one double crochet stitch. So now we're going to be doing 15 double crochet stitches into this ring, and as we go along, We'll be crocheting over the tail. So here's our first double crochet stitch and you can see I have the tail over the hook there. That's how we're crocheting it into the work as we go. So there's one double crochet stitch. So we're wanting to do 15 of those into this ring. There's two. There's three. And I'll let you continue on until you have 15 double crochet stitches and I'll meet you around here. So now I've got my 15 double crochet stitches into the ring and now we're going to join into the top of this chain two. So you can see there's the first chain stitch we made and there's the second chain stitch. So that is the chain two that we're going to join into. And you're going to pop the hook under both loops of that chain two and make a slip stitch to join the round. So at the end of round one you'll have 16 stitches because you've got 15 double crochet stitches and 
your chain 2 counts as one stitch which brings it up to 16 stitches. Now at this point you can grab your little tail at the end here and just give it a little pull and that will pull the center tight. Now later on what we'll do is we'll use a yarn needle and weave that in around there and that'll completely pull that tight so that you have no hole. So for round two, we'll start off with a chain two. One, two. So two chain stitches. That counts as one double crochet stitch. And now we'll be starting a repetitive sequence. And the repetitive sequence is two double crochet stitches into the next stitch here and then one double crochet stitch into the next stitch. So let's do that. So here's our first double crochet into the next stitch and into that same stitch there we'll make our second double crochet Now moving on to the next one here, just one double crochet into that stitch. So basically that's your repetitive sequence and you'll do that right around until the last stitch. So once again the sequence is two double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch continuing right around up until this stitch here and then I'll show you what to do with the last stitch. I'm up towards the end of round two with one stitch left to go. Now into that last stitch we're going to do two double crochet stitches. So here's our first double crochet and into the same stitch do a second double crochet and if you're wondering why uh, it's done that way if you look at here see that's counted as one stitch then you've got two one, two, one, two, and it continues right around in that fashion. So you one, one, two, one, two, and then you're back to the beginning where there is a one. So that's how you want it to be. Okay, so now we're up to joining into the, ch the chain two, and there's our first chain, and there's our second one. So we want to pop into that chain two or the second chain stitch and we're hopping under both of those loops like that and then we're making our slip stitch to join this round So at the end of round two you'll have 24 stitches and when you're counting whether you have 24 stitches when you do your stitch count remember that the chain two does count as one stitch. Okay for round three we'll start off with a chain two. One, two. Now we'll be starting a repetitive sequence and the repetitive sequence for round three is two double crochet stitches into the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch, and one double crochet into the next stitch. So that's what we're doing on this round right around. 
So this next stitch here, pop our first double crochet stitch into there and into the same we're going to do a second double crochet. Into the next stitch, do one double crochet. Into the next stitch, one double crochet. So you're going to repeat that right around. So two double crochet stitches into the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch. Repeating that sequence right around up until the last two stitches here. So you'll make your last stitch here and then I'll show you what to do with these last two stitches. I'm heading up towards the end of round three and I have two stitches left to crochet into. Now with these last two stitches, this next one, we're going to do two double crochet stitches into that same stitch. So here's our first one. Here's one double crochet and into the same stitch we'll do our second double crochet and into this last stitch here we'll do one double crochet and you'll probably notice that there's a pattern as I explained on the last round so you've got two stitches in that one stitch there then you've done two individual ones two stitches and then two individual ones and it continues right around and see we've done two stitches there one stitch there and that first chain two counts as one stitch so it's the same so you've got two there and two individuals there and as you come around to the end here there's two there and these two count as two individuals so it's even all around on the round so now we need to join into the chain two so there was our first chain and there's our second one Just hopping under both loops there. And making a slip stitch. And at the end of round three, you should have 32 stitches. To start round four, we'll start off with a chain two. So make two chain stitches. And then we'll be starting a repetitive sequence and that sequence is two double crochet stitches into the next stitch and then one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So into this stitch here we're going to do two double crochet stitches. There's our first one, and into the same stitch, we'll do a second one. Into the next stitch, we'll do one double crochet.
into the next stitch, one double crochet. Into the next stitch, one double crochet. So that's the sequence that you're going to repeat right around. So two double crochet stitches into the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch, and one double crochet into the next stitch. And you'll keep repeating that right around up until these last three stitches. So you'll end there and then I'll show you what to do with these last three stitches. So now I'm up to my last three stitches on round four. So into this next stitch here we'll be doing two double crochet stitches. So here's our first one. And into the same stitch we'll do our second one. Into the next stitch we'll do one double crochet. And into the next and last stitch we'll do one double crochet. So now we're ready to join into the top of the chain two. So there's our first chain stitch and here's our second one. So popping the hook up under that second chain stitch and we want to get up under both of the loops. So there's one loop and then we want to get up under that second one there as well. Just make a slip stitch. To finish that round. So at the end of round four you'll have 40 stitches. To start round five we'll start off with a chain two. So one, two chain stitches. Now a repetitive sequence on this round will be two double crochet stitches into the next stitch and then one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. So one in each. So into this next stitch here we'll be doing two double crochet stitches. So here's our first one. Into the same stitch, a second double crochet. Into the next stitch, one double crochet. Into the next stitch, one double crochet. Into the next stitch, one double crochet. And into the next stitch, one double crochet. So 
So you'll use this repetitive sequence right around. So the sequence once again is two double crochet stitches into the next stitch and then one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. And you'll continue that right around the round up until the last four stitches. So one, two, three, four. So you'll finish here and then I'll show you what to do with these four stitches. I'm up to my last four stitches on round five here. So with this next stitch here we'll be doing two double crochet stitches into that stitch. Here's our first one. There's one. And into that same stitch we'll do a second double crochet. Into the next stitch we'll do one double crochet. Into the next stitch, one double crochet. And into the next and last stitch, one double crochet. So now we're ready to join into the top of the chain two. Just pop in your hook up under both loops of that second chain and making a slip stitch. To join that round. So at the end of round five you'll have 48 stitches. So now for round six, we'll start off with a chain two. So one, two, and our repetitive sequence will be two double crochet stitches into the next stitch, and then one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. So with this next stitch we'll do two double crochet stitches. There's our first one and into the same stitch we'll do a second double crochet. Into the next stitch, one double crochet. Into the next stitch, one double crochet. Into the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet Two there, one, two, three, four, five. 
So that's the sequence that you'll repeat right around for this round. So two double crochet into the next stitch, one double crochet into each of the next five stitches, repeating that right around until you get to your last five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. So you'll finish here and then I'll show you what to do with these last five stitches. I'm up to my last five stitches on round six here. Now into this next stitch we'll be doing two double crochet stitches. Here's our first one. Into the same stitch we'll do a second double crochet. Into the next stitch we'll do one double crochet. Into the next stitch one double crochet. Into the next stitch one double crochet. Into our next and last stitch, we'll do one double crochet. And now we're ready to join into the top of the chain two here. Remembering to pop your hook under both loops of that chain two and then making a slip stitch to join the round. So at the end of round six this is what it's looking like and you'll have 56 stitches. Now if you do want to add an extra round uh, to make a larger beanie there's an extra round on your screen there that you can add in before starting on the next rounds which are for the sides of the beanie. So to start the sides we're starting on round seven and we'll start off with a chain two. So one, two. And all we'll be doing for this round and all the following rounds is one double crochet into each stitch right around. So we don't need to increase any more so we're just popping one double crochet stitch into each stitch. So I'll let you continue working right around for this round by making one double crochet stitch into each stitch and your last stitch will be in this stitch right here, that one there and I'll see you there. I'm at the end of round seven and I've made my last double crochet stitch here in this last stitch. Now just as a tip, uh, when beginning crochet a lot of people tend to pop an extra 
stitch in the join here. Now the problem is when you do do that you're adding in an extra stitch which doesn't need to be there and it's going to make your beanie out of shape and look very strange. So just be very wary of that, that your last stitch should always just go in here above the last stitch on the last round. So remember that that there is a join and not a stitch to be stitched into. So now we're going to join into the top of the chain two to complete this round. Just making a slip stitch And at the end of this round, you have the exact amount of stitches that you had from the previous round. So to continue on with your beanie for rounds uh, 8 to 14, you'll repeat round 7. And I'll meet you at the end of round 14. Okay, so I've just finished round 14 and now we can cut our yarn and leave a good amount so that you can weave that in to your work with a yarn needle. And we're just going to finish off. Now, grab your yarn needle with a big eye and thread this through and if you turn your work this way so this is the wrong side or the inside of the beanie and we're just going to Pop the hook down, see we've just finished there. I'm just going to pop the hook down through the middle there. And try not to pull too tight because we want that to look even. And then we're just going to work our way down through the stitches here to weave this yarn tail in. And you can go down as far as you like. And then turn your work this way. Skip that loop or the last loop there. And then just run your needle back up. can cut that and now we need to do the inside yarn tail so just turn your work inside out and we're going to weave this tail in around the center and pull that hole tight 
So if that's a bit tatty, just give that a cut like that. And it makes it easier to thread through your needle. see where it is there we want to head in this direction and as I pull you'll see that it's going to tighten that center and you just keep going around going to do is skip this last loop here and head back see how that catches on that loop so it's extra secure And then you can trim that off. You don't want to go around too many times with this center yarn tail because otherwise it gets a little bit too bulky there and that's not a good look. So that is what the beanie, once you turn it in back in the right way, that's what it looks like at the back when it's off the head and that's what it looks like the front and this is what the beanie looks like when it's worn on the head so if you'd like to share a photo of your beanie you can do so by sharing it on the crochet hooks you facebook page